Hey everyone, Derek Miller here. If you're serious about cars, fixing them, maintaining them, or making them better, you're exactly where you need to be. I break things down step by step so you can get the job done right the first time. If you find this helpful, give it a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest tips. All right, let's skip the small talk and get straight let's to it. Let's start with a chemical composition primer. 80% of any coolant is a combination of distilled water and ethylene glycol. This formula is typical for standards G11 and G12. The remaining 20%, on average, comes from additives, which characterize a particular antifreeze. Additives, a key aspect of the composition. They are added in order to eliminate the destructive ability of water and ethylene glycol on the metal components of the cooling system. Of the car, especially the walls and tubes of the radiator. Roughly speaking, there are only two types of additives, anti-corrosive, eliminate any type of rust during operation, or maximally slow down such processes. Such additives are characteristic for G12 and G12+. There are also hybrid additives, allocated in a separate composition G13. They combine chemical elements of the first and second category in the right proportions. That is why this category is considered universal and is suitable for topping up, but not in all cases. Color characteristics antifreeze of different colors was originally developed to work with a certain group of metals. At the moment it is not fundamental, although earlier car manufacturers tried to introduce this gradation, offering recommended colorants for compositions. At the moment the categories have the following coloring for G11, green, blue, and variations, G12, yellow and red, poison orange, G13, the purple. This is all theory. In practice, many manufacturers color antifreeze as they please, since there is no rigid standardization. So G11 has eight spread from blue to purple, G12 can be green, and G13 and yellow. As a result, there is confusion and the car owner is increasingly difficult to navigate in the differences in the composition and their purpose. What will happen when mixing different colors? Putting your hand on your stomach, nothing will happen if you mix the compositions of different manufacturers, although there are certain conditions. Situations are different, including force merger, so initially read the composition. If green G11 is mixed with green G11, but of a different manufacturer with maximally similar parameters, the engine will not suffer. This also applies to other standards. Only coolant products of the same color and additives can be mixed with each other. Now for the traffic light part. As mentioned above, the same G11 12 13 can have a wide range of colors. Antifreeze of different colors with identical formula will perfectly interact with each other. The main headache of motorists is G13 in purple and yellow. Many are afraid that they are completely different, although this is fundamentally wrong. To begin with, this antifreeze is universal in nature and has a double portion of additives, which get along with each other without any special consequences. You will only get a new shade, no more. Is it possible to mix different standards? Here here the situation is already more interesting. If antifreeze of different colors, but the same group are interchangeable, then different products can cause unforeseen reactions. In the system, only aggravating the situation of your radiator and other components of the cooling system. Can antifreeze of different subgroups be mixed? It should be understood that G11 and G12 have completely different additives, the former are aimed at creating a film, the latter at eliminating rust. It is almost impossible to control the mixing of active components. Yes, the precipitate may not fall out, but the film will significantly reduce the efficiency of cooling. All because green antifreeze reduces the diameter of tubes and other units. The temperature regime falls, as well as the characteristics of the cooler. A kind of clot may even be formed, which is fraught with radiator failure. Consequences of mixing yellow and green We have already found out whether it is possible to refill antifreeze of the same brand and what it threatens, but can you mix antifreeze of red, green, and yellow type? And here the consequences will be deplorable. Ethylene and propylene are different types of alcohol, albeit one atom alcohol. Another thing is that the first one is toxic, but in the second case this flaw has been removed. Let's add two types of additives to G13. We get the following picture, we have no idea how alcohols react with each other and how dire the consequences are, additives in G13. 
are designed for propylene glycol, so no one can say how they will behave in a far element, no one will not give a confident answer about the compatibility of antifreeze. Remember that the universal donor is not G13, but G12++. Above it is written in detail, which antifreezes can be mixed without consequences. Extremely carefully read the composition of the product and never save on coolant. Repair of the car will still cost more, the more so the capital one. Not the most sensible way to save money in your wallet. Results the confusion in colors of antifreeze and fuel oil is infuriating for any motorist. For those two years, while the coolant is in use and the driver does not worry about its replacement, cheerful manufacturers invent new standards and variations of their products, which plays into the hands of only marketers, but not the consumer. You can't stock up on coolant either because of its limited shelf life. Try to choose one manufacturer, find a smart salesman who will explain in detail what the difference between the compositions. And learn to read the set of ingredients yourself to save a lot on service in the future. Rules for mixing antifreeze standards and colors of antifreeze Mixing antifreeze of different standards Green antifreeze should not be mixed with yellow antifreeze. In conclusion, mixing antifreeze of different standards and colors can lead to serious consequences for your vehicle's cooling system. While it may seem convenient to combine various brands, the chemical compositions can react negatively, resulting in reduced effectiveness and potential damage. It's essential to adhere to manufacturer specifications and understand the color coding of antifreeze to ensure compatibility. Always consult your vehicle's manual and, when in doubt, stick to the same brand and type of coolant. By following these guidelines, you can help maintain your engine's health and longevity.